to angels. How would that change your life? Join us now on Angel Talk Tuesday as the Psychic Angel Channelers, Julie Geigel, Maggie Chula, and Catherine Glass allow angels to speak directly through them, sharing messages from beyond. As you bathe in the vibrational frequency of the angels here, you will begin to open up to a stronger and clearer communication of your own. The purpose of this show is to help you awaken, expand, and remember the magnificent being that you are and the mission you came here to fulfill. The angels have heard your call and are here to help. Are you ready to receive? Is love, and today's topic is, what is your soulmate? What is a soulmate? This is Julie Geigel, International Psychic Medium, Trans Channel for Archangel Metatron and the Masters of Light, an approved and certified Casa Guide for the John of God experience. You can find me over at www.juliegeigel.com and on Facebook at Julie Geigel Psychic Medium. I'd love to invite you to join us on our annual John of God Spiritual Transformation Healing Retreat coming up April 4th through the 16th. It's like being transported to another dimension of time and space. And it really is really looking uh, forward to getting back there. Uh, I've heard the energy is positively unbelievable. We are in a new energy. We are experiencing heaven on earth. And as we attune and uh, connect with the higher frequencies more and more, we're able to feel this more on a daily basis in our own lives. So if you need a kickstart, um, be sure to check out more information about John of God over at www.johnofgodhealingmiracles.com. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I'm so thrilled. I've got my new Yeti microphone finally. So hoping my sound is amazing today. Uh, so let's go ahead and ring the tincture bells uh, to help us clear out any shadows and open up this magnificent, beautiful energy. Welcome, I am Archangel Metatron. We are thrilled and delighted to join you here today, talking about our favorite subject, love. And just take a moment, if you will, to allow your heart to open, releasing any anxiety, any angst or discord that you may be feeling in your life. And breathing in this peace, this calm that we are bringing to you now, bathing you in a beautiful light filled with unconditional love. Find your heart continuing to open. Allow your hand to rest gently on your heart. Tuning in and aligning 
to your soul's purpose, the gifts, the blessings, the insights that your soul brings you, your higher self. Allowing this expansion within this time and space, allowing you to tune in, to connect to this higher force, bringing in your spiritual counsel feeling their angelic support, feeling their angelic love. They walk this journey with you. You are never alone. There are unseen forces that surround you in every moment of your life. You have many energies that are cheering you on, loving you unconditionally, helping you to remember who you are and why you came here. And as you tune into their power, their magnificence, their love, it helps you to stay true to yourself, to your goals, your ideals, your path. Feel the beautiful healing that comes as you align with your spiritual counsel. Allowing the shadows of insecurity and uncertainty to dissolve. There is a beautiful courage and grace found within this light of love. So not only do you have a beautiful connection with your spiritual counsel, but you also have a beautiful connection with your soulmate council. Those are earthly beings that you have put into place. Serving as your teachers, your coaches, your nursemaids. Typically, you may have thought of a soulmate as a romantic love. And yes, you have many soulmates that you have put into place as romantic loves but they also come in other shapes and sizes. They are not limited by one romantic love in this lifetime. Many of you will find much comfort in that knowledge. 
allowing your heart to open and expand to all possibilities. The love that you are able to experience exists in many forms of soulmates, be it male, female, human, or animal. The possibilities are infinite. And the connection is undeniable. And so allow yourself to let go of your limitations. Expand your heart and open your mind to the limitless gifts of love. And now take a moment to tune into your soulmate council that is here with you on earth. Calling in now this frequency and feeling a beautiful wave upon wave of glorious unending love, boundless, infinite. And allow yourself to be grateful, sharing much gratitude for the gifts that they bring to your life here on this earth. I am Metatron and the Masters of Light and we have spoken here today. The best of the holistic, spiritual and conscious world. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. Are you trying to get from point A to point B and need a little advice? Connect with the counselors at Om Times Advisors. Whether you're looking for a life coach or a spiritual intuitive, the advisors participating at advisors.omtimes.com were carefully chosen based on their gifts, skills, and professionalism. Om Times Advisors, connecting you with the best advisors in the business. is where sexuality and spirituality meets. Join me, clinical sexologist Martha Tara Lee, on Eros Evolution on Thursdays, 4 p.m. Eastern on Om Times Radio. Hi, this is Julie Geigel. Are you looking for a place to connect with like-minded souls? Check out our inner circle at juliegeigel.com. And this is Maggie Chula. My book of channeled messages, Open the Doorway to Your Soul, is now available and learn more at MaggieChula.com. I'm Catherine Glass. Come to our amazing Soul Culture Retreat, May 20th through the 23rd in lovely Stowe, Vermont. Sign up at CatherineGlass.com. Are you ready to shift your energy, consciousness, and limiting beliefs? Join me, Shafali Burns, every Monday at 5 p.m. Eastern on Shifting with Shafali here on Om Times Radio. Shift the blocks, limitations, and negative energies that have kept you from experiencing a life filled with joy, peace, love, abundance, and happiness. Are you ready to shift with Shafali? Are you ready to shine your brilliance? Connecting you with the best of the conscious minds in the world. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. Welcome. Welcome back to Angel Talk Tuesday. My name is Maggie Chula, and I'm so happy to be here. Tuesdays have started to be my very favorite day because I get to start it channeling wisdom and loving vibration from the master teachers of the Akasha. First, I would like to give a shout out to Julie and Archangel Metatron, the Masters of Light, for that wonderful channeled messages that they brought through. Um, 
And I would like to share with everyone just a couple of things that are going on in my world. I am now doing live channeled sessions out and also um, <laughs> events out of All About Me Massage and Healing in Woodbury, Minnesota. So if you live anywhere around the Twin Cities, give me a shout out. I'd love to meet up with you in person. Um, I'm also doing a webinar for spiritual development and, um, no, spiritual healing and psychic development. That starts March 2nd. There will be a free webinar. It's the last one that will be held on February 17th. So sign up and join me. I'd love to see you there. Okay, I want to get started because this is one of my favorite subjects. So I'm really looking forward to seeing who's coming through. And I have started sharing with you that I do use a prayer to connect up and make sure that the highest vibration my heart and soul are in alignment with comes through to channel a message for us today. Mother, Father, God, creator of all that is, I ask for a healing, inspirational message today. I ask that the being of light that is here to share with us wisdom and knowledge on the subject of soulmates be with me now. Thank you. It is true that soulmates are a very important subject and I have asked to come through and talk about this with you. I have never given voice through this method before, through this vibrational being, but I choose to come here now and my name is Aphrodite. I love Love, it is without a doubt the highest expression of vibrational healing energy you have, we have, within our universe. And I have always been a symbol of love and light for this planet Earth. And I know about soulmates personally, and I know about soulmates from all of the various beings who have prayed to me, looking, searching, wanting that soulmate. And in that vibrational tone, you are talking about a mate that you can give your heart to, that you can share the best of yourself with, somebody to complete you, somebody to expand you, someone to be your other half. And while Metatron and the Masters of Light are correct, there is a council of beings around you sharing with you in this vibration of light you call your life here on earth. It is also true that there is a mate for the soul. And in this instance, I choose to talk about the mated soul, the one where the two halves come together and become one. Now, many of you know there is an infinite number of possibilities of beings you could connect to. And all these loving beings do share in your travels, in your expansion, in your life of creation. But this mated soul that you have such a strong desire for, this was a concept that started from the beginning of time. This was something that happened back in the very, very beginnings of the source and the souls. Back in the very, very start of time, there was a story that came through about souls that grew from the source and then 
separated, creating two perfect halves. And these two halves have been going through the universe for centuries, for eons, looking for each other. Ah, what a lovely story. It didn't quite happen like that, but it was close enough, just like many myths are close enough. The truth, though, is that there is for some of you a one, that one, that zing that will happen in your life. And you know who you are. Some of you know in your heart there is an other for you here on this planet. And that is true. And some of you know that that is not your path. That will not be your path. But you choose to be partners. You choose to be companions. You choose to be other things to other people. And that is true. This beautiful uniqueness that we are all in. We all get to choose. And some of you did choose for that zing, for that soulmate, for that one, that essence. And for those of you who still want to find that being, or perhaps you know you have, but the path is not smooth and you are not together. Or those of you who are with your soulmate, but times and people and experiences have taken the love out of that relationship. For all of you, I ask you to be with me now as I help you with this vibrational healing. Let us all breathe together the breath of life. Let us all breathe together and bring this vibration, this essence of God into our being into that timeline of now. And in this expression, in this being of light and vibration, I ask you to open up your mind. Open that mind up and see yourself as a vibrational being of light. See yourself as a color. See yourself as a sphere. Allow that sphere to glow and to sparkle in front of you. Now this sphere of light will share with you if it has a second half. Watch it now. If it has a second half, it will split into two. For when you go into this expression, when you go into this vibration, you will sense if you are complete, or if there is another. So in this way, see before you, are there two halves? Yes? Now work with me and this vibration. I want you to see a pink energy of love that comes from the heavens themselves, that is associated with our beloved Mother Mary. See this expression of love come and surround you and this sphere of light. And if there are many pieces, maybe more than just two, more than just one, many pieces, this light can go in between every single piece. For you see what has happened is the splinter in the mind, the splinter in the connections of this vibrational essence that is your whole, your being, your soul. So see this loving pink energy come and just as if it were an adhesive, it allows all these pieces to come together and see them all coming together and merging into a beautiful orb of sparkling light, a beautiful orb of light. And let any of the shadows that would stand between the beings that are your soulmate the one true love, any shadows, any issues, any beliefs, let them now leave this sphere of energy 
just as if it is too heavy to stay within it. Let it drop down and allow yourself to feel the completeness, the whole, the love flowing from this orb of energy to you, from this orb of energy to the other, from this orb of energy to the beings that are connected into this pod of love, into this casement of love. You see, it is time to call all those pieces back together. It is time to forgive and forget the ones that have hurt, for they have served you well. They have prepared you for the one you are looking for. And I ask you now to see in your mind's eye the light from the heavens shining down, the light from your own counsel surrounding it, as if you were in this incredible circle, a bigger circle of light and love. So from the little one, from the one that had split and splintered, that is now whole, infused with pink loving energy, from this circle, from this circle, it goes outward into the greater sphere that is all the energetic beings that are on this planet. And it knows where it's going. So let the love flow out from you to the love of your life on the planet. Let the love flow out from you and know you are calling them and you are sharing you are ready. And if this being is already in your life, they will know it. They will feel it. Allow yourself to feel it. For right now we share with you, the love is here with you. Open up and share it with others. Thank you. Do it now. Do it now. Stay tuned. For the galactic beings who will share their knowledge and wisdom. Good night. The best of holistic, spiritual, and conscious world. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. Have you ever wondered how to change your love paradigm? The secret key is finding a love partnership not just a regular connection. How do you find these? Through conscious relationships. Ascending Hearts Dating is a dating site for people like you that believes in second chances and a different type of spiritual connection. Try Ascending Hearts for free today at AscendingHearts.com and change your love paradigm. Ascending Hearts, the premier dating community for the spiritually awake. This is Julie Geigel. I'm Maggie Chula. And I'm Catherine Glass. And we're the Psychic Angel Channelers. Join us every week here on Ohm Times Radio for Angel Talk Tuesday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. The angels have heard your call and are here to help. Are you ready to receive? Remember your magnificence with Angel Talk Tuesday. This is Julie Geigel. Be sure to sign up for our free healing list at juliegeigel.com. This is Maggie Chula. For spiritual and psychic development classes, check out the Akashic Vibration Process at maggiechula.com. I'm Catherine Glass. Stop by and show us some love at our Facebook page, Angel Talk Tuesday, and remember your magnificence. And we are the Psychic Angel Channelers from Angel Talk Tuesday. Hey ladies, do you want to have that good hair day feeling all the time? Gentlemen, would you want your special someone to have that glow, letting you know she is feeling completely satisfied? This feeling and that glow can be yours by embracing your sexual power. So join me, Rachel Kenley, award-winning romance author, on The O-Spot. The O-Spot will guide you to that peak with guest interviews, book discussions, and conversations on the thrills of sexual empowerment. Put the zing back in your life. Come up and see me sometime on the O-Spot, live on Hump Day at 10 p.m. Eastern. Your conscious connection to a more mindful world. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. Hello, hello, and welcome back to Angel Talk Tuesday. 
I'm Catherine Glass, number three of the Psychic Angel Channelers, and I'm delighted to be here. Thank you to the lovely Maggie Chula for channeling Aphrodite. That was really cool. She was delightful, and what a beautiful meditation um, she took us through. So I hope all of you listening joined in with that, especially those of you that are consciously seeking a soulmate. Before I dive into my channeled message, I'd like to share with you some events. Um, I'm Catherine Glass. I am a psychic and a channel for spirit. I do readings all over the world and public gallery demonstrations, and I teach classes in psychic and mediumship development. I have a class coming up in Concord, Massachusetts this March 12th, which is a Saturday from 9 to 4. I teach with another partner, the lovely Laura Emerald, who is also a medium and a healer. And you can find information for that on my website, katherineglass.com. I also would like to let you guys know about a wonderful event happening May 20th through the 23rd in Vermont, beautiful Stowe, Vermont, at the quintessential time, springtime, when everything is green and popping. It's called the Soul Essence Bliss Retreat. And the, our tagline for that retreat is Permission Granted to Nourish Your Soul. The class offerings that will be given there are the essence of Ayurveda, profound and practical principles that give meaning to life. That's taught by my wonderful husband, Jonathan Glass. Uh, Intuition and your energy body. That's what I'm going to be uh, presenting and doing a channeling as well. Journey into the Heart of Sound will be taught by another one of my wonderful colleagues, Clarence Dow Spielman. And he's going to be doing all kinds of work with energetic um, instruments and layering of sound. It's going to be amazing. And creating soul culture in a mad world through the sweet and sacred practice of devotional yoga. And that's taught by Deborah um, Jai Shri, Deborah Dow Spielman. So we are two married couples teaching this wonderful retreat together called the Soul Essence Bliss Retreat, and you really shouldn't miss it. Um, you can find information at katherineglass.com to sign up for that as well. And now back to our topic, what is a soulmate? And I'm going to take some breaths and connect with the Galactic Federation and the Council of Light. Here we go. Greetings, beloveds. It is I, Ezra, coming to you from the Galactic Federation and the Council of Light. Today's topic is love, love, love all around. For you are love, and you know this, on every level of your being. You sometimes just forget in your busy dance of life, in human form. Know that the longing, the longing of your heart that calls you to seek, to believe that there must be another part of me out there somewhere to complete my other half. There must be a soulmate, mustn't there? Isn't that true? Isn't that what is going to make me feel complete and whole and happy and free and supported and divinely connected in my life and my purpose here? Yes, I'm sure each and every one of you at some time or other perhaps has asked this question. But please know, dear ones, that you, you along with your beautiful council of light that walks this journey with you, created your incarnation before you descended from the spiritual realm into physical form. And if indeed you choose this particular incarnation not to couple up with that one special soul walking beside you, remember that you yourself have indeed designed it to be so. For it is not right or wrong to share this dance, this journey with another soul or soul mate. And as our beloved Metatron reminded us, soul mates come in many shapes, sizes, and forms. Some soul mates are in animal form. 
Some soulmates walk beside you as your companion, your dog that you love dearly and you connect with on so many levels. And you may have more than one dog in one incarnation. And that same soulmate may come through different dog bodies or you may have more than one soulmate in the form of an animal, a beloved pet. You may also find soulmates through friendship, through your family of origin, a beloved sibling, or even a parent or grandparent may be your soulmate in this life journey. The despair you may be feeling around wanting that romantic soulmate connection may be causing undue suffering for you because of the way you're believing or perceiving it is supposed to be. Of course, it's fine to long for a partner to share your life and love with. And in the human form, sharing romantic love, bodily love, reproducing even and making a family. But please understand and know that the one you choose to do those things with not necessarily dictates that that is your soulmate. Think about that. There are task mates, life mates, souls that come to join us to complete important, very important tasks on our journey, such as creating children, becoming parents. But many of you, I'm sure, have experienced having a marriage, believing that is indeed your soulmate. Oh, I found my soulmate. And then the marriage ends. You become separated through the act of divorce. And the person you thought was your soulmate maybe was not. Because a soulmate is someone that you have an eternal weaving in and out of in your dance, in your journey, in life, on earth, and beyond. Sometimes your soulmate comes again and again and again through several incarnations with you to share your dance until you complete your your learning or your contract together. Now, I don't say this to discourage any of you, beloveds. Please know that you, number one, first and foremost, you are love. And that love that you are is a form of connection to your soulmate. Because your own soul is also a form of soulmate. How is that for a mind twist? And... For those of you that do not experience a physical partner in this lifetime to share your dance with, please know that your soul can exist on many dimensions in parallel universes and you may be dancing with a particular soulmate in another dimension in a parallel universe and therefore that soulmate is not with you in this incarnation on the human journey. Another baffling, mind-boggling concept to ponder. There are many traditions, spiritual traditions, that speak of the divine being a male and a female together dancing as consorts. And yet that male and female aspect of the divine are truly one one God, one aspect, divided into male and female energies. You, beloveds, you, your souls, are the same, male and female, dancing together entwined as one soul. So consider the possibility that you are already complete as the perfect combination of male and female dancing together. 
for male and female are simply energies and soulmates in human form do not always come as male and female. They come as male and male, female and female, male and animal, female and animal. So open your eyes wide, your heart even wider to the possibility and the concept that your soulmate may not come in the form you are looking for and expecting and therefore creating such a thought of disappointment and angst that is unnecessary. You will know when the time comes and you have met that person, you will know, your heart will sing without a doubt, this is my soulmate, my mom is my soulmate. My child is my soulmate. My animal is my soulmate. My husband is indeed my soulmate, my wife, and etc., etc. But do heed the wise words of Metatron. Connect to your soul council on earth, your soulmate council, and heed the beautiful meditation of Aphrodite. And bring in that beautiful sphere of pink light and follow the instructions. And know and let your heart be at peace and at rest with my counsel and my words that there is no one right way. There is no perfect image that your human mind and ego is creating to fulfill. Connecting to soulmate is about first connecting to your own soul's divinity, your own self-love. And from that space, you will attract and know in this lifetime who is your soulmate to dance and share with you. I leave you with my love and blessing. Thank you for listening. Tune in for the last segment of Angel Talk Tuesday. I'm Catherine Glass. Conscious Media for Conscious Minds. Ohm Times. What if business could be fun? What if business is the adventure of living? What are you choosing? Where do you do business that makes it easier, more fun, or more joyful for you? We'd love to see where you do business. Connect with us on Instagram at Joy of Business or Twitter at Joy of Business. And share your pictures with hashtags Business Done Where and Joy of Business. Let's change the world with business. Come heal yourself. What is healing? Healing is nothing but connecting with your all-knowing higher self that already has solutions to all your problems and is always there to guide you. Through this show, we help you to connect with that you are and tap into that innate potential you have to transform your life and fly high. Please join me, your host Monica Goyal, every Sunday 7 p.m. Pacific. Namaste. Hi, this is Julie Geigel. Be sure to sign up for our free healing list at juliegeigel.com. This is Maggie Chula. For spiritual and psychic development classes, check out the Akashic Vibration Process at MaggieChula.com. I'm Catherine Glass. Stop by and show us some love at our Facebook page, Angel Talk Tuesday, and remember your magnificence. And we are the Psychic Angel Channelers from Angel Talk Tuesday. What if living didn't have to be so serious? What if you could move beyond your problems with greater confidence and ease than you've ever imagined? Throw your labels out the window and join the irreverent therapist for practical tips and a very different way of approaching the changes you would like to create. Marilyn Bradford and Pam Hodling have empowered hundreds of people to come out of self-judgment, quit looking to experts, and begin to create the lives they desire. Join us Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern on The Irreverent Therapist Show. Bringing a more conscious lifestyle to your world. Ohm Times Radio. 
IOM FM。Welcome, welcome back. Thank you for listening to Angel Talk Tuesday, hosted every Tuesday at 10 a.m. Eastern, 9 a.m. Central. This is Julie Geigel. Thank you, Catherine Glass, for that lovely message from Ezra, goat for the Galactic Federation and Council of Light.、Um, It was most most inspiring, absolutely. And so we're just going to take a few moments to recap、uh, the show today, and we are going to start with Catherine, who will recap Metatron's. Yes, 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 indeed. Okay, I'm still coming down for a landing from from that. <laughs> Channeling is really wild, you guys. <laughs> And don't always know where we're heading. Okay, <laughs> so Metatron, lovely Metatron. I love Metatron. He grounds me so much. Okay, Metatron had us call in our council, our personal.、Uh, no, first he had a, yes, our personal council of light, and he reminded us you never walk alone. Many energies are with you, cheering you on, and they are walking with you. Always a comfort. As you tune in to their love, you are able to stay true to your soul's path. So they're very helpful on on guiding you throughout your life, and then he said aligning、um, with your council feel ma- makes you feel your centeredness, and from that centeredness is where you find your courage, and in this light of love you have a beautiful connection not only with your spiritual council, but then with your earthly soulmate council, which was a really cool thing.、Um, And the earthly soulmate council、um, are teachers, mentors, friends, people who support you on your soul's path. And that soulmates come in many shapes and sizes, not just romantic love. And he said、um, they may show up as romantic love, but certainly not always. And allow your heart to open to all possibilities,、um, and that your love potential exists in many possibilities of connection.、Um, And with many beings, and to let go of your limited beliefs around soulmates and what that is,、um, he said again to tune into your soulmate council and be in gratitude, grateful for the love that surrounds you. And I also believe he said, or else I'm just picking up on that. When you do that, you you open to calling in what your heart is desiring, if it is indeed that one special person. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, actually, I was being shown that too, Catherine. That、uh, as you let go of that limiting belief system of just having one romantic soulmate, and you really step into the gratitude of, as you align with that, you discover that there are many soulmates currently in your life, and as you find that. Place of gratitude for that beautiful connection you have with your mother, or that amazing connection you have with、uh, your child, that opens up and magnetizes the romantic love soulmate that so many of us long for or、right. feel incomplete without.、Um, Yeah, gratitude—it's the place to begin. Right, and, and, that, and that's where, and that's where I think manifesting your heart's desire comes into where we have some freedom of choice once we're here incarnated. I believe, and that you know, if you're really longing for a partner, you can manifest that. Is it your soulmate or not? You know, don't know. Is it karmic? I mean, there's so many platforms and levels of relationship. You know? Yeah, and I think Maggie touched on that with Aphrodite、um, when we talk about choice. Uh, we came here, and we have a choice. We have a choice in,、uh, you know, we certainly have that contract, and we've created and put into place、uh, different experiences. And when we come into this incarnation, we have many, many choices. So it's not like if I don't walk this path, I'm I'm getting it wrong. It's、right. You know what feels good to you. Align with your heart and、uh, the gratitude, and yeah, as it that, unfolds.、Right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, speaking of Maggie Chula,、um, yeah. Aphrodite was amazing to to hear from today. She talked about how love is the highest expression of vibrational healing energy on Earth, which I just really, really resonated with that、um, a lot. 
Aphrodite talks specifically about the mated soul and that, um, you know, one person that is uh, your second half, if you will. And she took us um, through a beautiful, beautiful healing meditation, breathing in the breath of life, bringing in um, a beautiful healing, clearing, cleansing, releasing that um, beautiful sphere of um, sparkle and glow yeah. along yeah with mother mary of course who else would infuse that with love <laughs> and clearing and you know feeling those splinters um the many pieces and then just imagining that beautiful energy of love bringing all of that back together for a beautiful healing and releasing to help to, uh, for you to call in your one specific romantic soulmate uh, so thank you for that channeling Maggie yes yeah that was um, never never worked with her before but now I know why I put on so much makeup and did my hair this morning <laughs> you look <laughs> fabulous well, I was going to say I do? <laughs> so a radio show no <laughs> But um, yeah, and then Ezra, I love hearing from Ezra, and she really um, helped, I think, tie all three of the sessions together, as we've all shared. When we're channeling, I, I, you know, I'll listen back to see what I said. I, I'm not completely sure, but something about love and, you know, anyway. <laughs> uh, but what I do like about, um, was she was talking about um, how... You know, I, I love the idea of the council of soulmate, um, soulmates ar around you. That was really great. And she she also um, was talking about that, too. And she was talking about how it's OK that uh, I mean, some of us really do come in um, with other beings, other types of um our, our soulmate isn't going to be like it is on a TV show or in a radio um, or, or I mean on the movies. It, it, it could be in a whole different form, but it's perfect for you. Mm -hmm. And that sometimes you don't notice it because you're you're looking for that soulmate that's like in your mind's eye. This is the way it's going to be a man and he's going to look like this. And, and she was sharing, you know, open up your heart to this. It might not even be you, what you would want. So really, I think that what came down for me was that soulmates come in all shapes and forms. They can be your pets, your siblings, and don't despair. You're causing yourself undue suffering, wanting it to be one form when right before you or in your own life is perhaps your perfect soulmate. And you haven't honored it because you're expecting it to be something else. Right. So she wanted you, yeah, to put your heart at peace. Um, and to really start to think about connect to your own soul's divinity, connect to your own soul's love, and that your soul is actually a soulmate. I I did love that. Yeah, yeah, I love that. <laughs> she said, "I got a yep, 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 yep. <laughs> yeah. So, you, so you're your subject. own soulmate. You are soulmate? already you are already complete. You yeah, are yeah. complete. <laughs> Because with that. your soul, within your soul, I might not have said it, you know. It's... No, oh, uh, yeah, I wrote it down, like I said. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'll you tell know. you guys, if we didn't have that chime to bring us back, start thinking to come I back in, I we I would just be on and I'm flying no. around talking. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> this was so profound. I'm going to share it again. You are already complete. You are your soulmate. Yes. I love loved that. that. Yeah. Love that. Absolutely. And I think uh, another thing that some people get hung up on is questioning. You know, they might be in a relationship and they're they're questioning, okay, is this really my soulmate? Maybe my soulmate's out there and I'm missing him or right, her. Right, yeah. And I think that uh, there is also a misperception that when you are aligned or connected with your soulmate, it's a perfect existence. And yeah. <laughs> I would, I would have to say no. <laughs> right. I and got if you're mine. Feeling, you know. yeah, if you're feeling like that, if you're feeling like maybe I'm not with my soulmate, then you're probably not. I mean, I don't know. It doesn't mean that soulmates don't. You don't have hard lessons to learn and issues to go through because you're you're meant to stretch and grow. But I don't know. I mean, if, I if you get a divorce, get isn't up. that sort of meant to be? I don't know. People get caught up in the grass is always greener on the other side of the fence. Yeah, I know when I work with um, people, I always tell them, um, get right with yourself 
And yeah. then if you're still not happy, then, you know, continue exploring other alternatives. Right. But right. oftentimes I think people are, are blaming or looking for a quick fix or, um, you know, the grass is always greener on the other yeah. side of the fence and they get over there and they're like, oh, okay, maybe it wasn't. <laughs> Yeah. And I just want to say one more thing, which is on this subject, um, what I took away from all of the channels and maybe it's in my other form was um, that it, love is that vibration. If you feel it, if you can sense it, if you can know it, then you're going to know, is that the same sensation you're feeling with this person or is there something else going on? And that something else going on could be something that you really need, but if once you address it, then you might be able to hear that vibration of love. Maybe you can't hear it now because of all the things that are going on in your world. Right. And it begins with loving yourself. And yep. that's the vibration. When you're totally in alignment with yourself yeah. and loving yourself, then you can really uh, get that clarity and discernment when you're looking at romantic relationships. Yep. All Fun. right. Well, oh. thank you everyone for taking the time out of your day to join us here on Angel Talk Tuesday. Archives are posted 24 hours after the live show airs on OMTimesRadio.com. You have a plethora of angels uplifting, inspiring, and enfolding you in God's love every day. Until next time, this is the Psychic Angel Channelers, Julie Geigel, Maggie Chula, and Catherine Glass helping you connect with your own angelic team. See you next week. Remember your magnificence. <laughs>